Clean Feed is a broadcast quality live audio and multi-track recording service that lets you connect with multiple people anywhere in the world using just a web browser. Previously, we tested their free service, and in this episode, we're going to test their paid service, Clean Feed Pro, which gives you advanced features. Hello and welcome to The Three Techs. If you're like many people, you may be curious and interested in starting your own podcast, and you may want to connect with co-hosts or guests remotely. Well, CleanFeed is a system that works over the internet, allowing you to connect to guests anywhere in the world with high-quality audio. It's very simple to set up for the host and guests because it only requires you to use a web browser like Chrome or Edge. CleanFeed records high-quality audio of the host and all guests, all within the host's web browser. There's no need to collect files from each participant after the session. To learn more about the basic features of CleanFeed, check out our CleanFeed walkthrough video linked in the description. CleanFeed Pro is a paid service that provides additional features for people who need additional control over their sessions and recordings. The main pro features that we're going to explore today are multi-track recording, advanced invitations, cart wall, audio repair echo cancellation, multiple input devices, channel mix control, and higher bit rates. Multi-track recording is great when you have more than two people and want to edit the audio in post. Let's take a look at how multi-track recording works. First, you click the record button at the top left, Enter a name for your recording, and then click the pop-up menu where you'll see different options for recording. Now, the last option here, multi-track, is only available in CleanFeed Pro. The other options that you see above are available in the free version of CleanFeed. So we've chosen multi-track here, and you just click record to start recording, but we already have our recording going here. Now, at any time during the recording, you can download the recording files from the web browser. So I'll click the download button here and you can see that it's saving a zip file to my hard drive. Is it saved in the browser's memory? Is it saved on their servers? Saved in the browser. Yeah. Okay. All right, now that the file's downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. So now that the file is downloaded, let's take a look at what we have inside. I've unzipped the file and inside this folder, you can see that there are four files. So I have one WAV file for Bob. I have one called Clips. I have another one for Steven. And I have one for myself. So if I take a look at the information on this file, we'll be able to see the duration. We'll see that it is a mono recording recorded at 48 kilohertz sampling rate and 16 bit per sample. So these files are all synchronized to the sample and you can just drop them into any multi-track audio editor or even Final Cut Pro if you're making a video to have all these files synced up with independent recordings of each person that was in that CleanFeed session. All right, so that's CleanFeed multi-track recording in CleanFeed Pro. Now let's talk about advanced invitations. To send an invitation, click on Connect, type in a name, and then click the Limit to the Next pop-up menu, and you'll see that there are more options available here. So let's take a look at the standard version of CleanFeed, which I have on the right-hand side here. In the standard version of CleanFeed, you can invite people in advance, and if I clicked on the Advanced button here, you'll see that I can limit it only to the next 24 hours. I can't choose anything from 30 minutes up to unlimited. So that is a pro feature. Why would you want to limit this? Well, you don't necessarily want a one-time guest to be able to pop in unexpectedly on future clean feed sessions that you might host. So you might want to only limit their access for the next day or the week that they're supposed to meet and record with you. Or if you have a regular co-host, like I have Bob and Steven tonight, you might want to set this invitation to unlimited so that they can use the same invitation to rejoin the session week after week. So if I have an event, it's coming up in a week's time, maybe the best way is to actually send the invitation one day before and have it last for 24 hours? 
Correct. Especially if you have the free version of CleanFeed, you can only send invitations 24 hours in advance. But if you have the pro version, you do have some more options. So you could send it the day of, you could send it three days in advance. CleanFeed doesn't currently allow you to book in advance on a specific date and time range. So for example, I couldn't say I want to book this on August 15th from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So what you could do is you could change connect on use to ask to accept connection. And what that does is it prompts the host to accept the person or the guest before they're allowed into the session. Yeah, it adds it adds a layer of security, right? Yeah. Next up is the cart wall. Now, the cart wall is a feature that allows you to load up pre-recorded sounds, jingles, identifiers, interviews, and other sound files. It's similar to the sound files and sound pad that you can use on the Rodecaster Pro, but it's in the Chrome browser in CleanFeed. To load a sound file, click on the Clips button at the top, and then click on the Plus button to load in your audio files. Now, I have a bunch of royalty-free songs that I've loaded up here from the YouTube audio library. And you can see that it's loading that up into the Chrome browser. And then all I need to do is click on one of these to play it back. So let's click on this first one here. Bob and Steven, can you hear that? Yep, can hear it very well. Okay. If I just click it again, it turns it off. I can choose another one here. So you can see how the cart wall here would allow you to trigger intros, stingers, transitions, or other sound effects that you might want to include in your show. And again, it saves it in that multi-track file that we saw with the different WAV files. These are the sounds that would go into that WAV file called clips.wav. I think that's a really cool feature. And the fact that it's all within a browser, you don't have to install or download an app. I think that's really impressive. Yeah. It's kind of like a Rodecaster Pro right in your web browser. Yeah. So the next feature I'd like to talk about is audio repair and echo cancellation. To get the best sound possible, it's best for all parties to wear headphones or earbuds to avoid echo and feedback. But if you have some participants who can't wear headphones, you could enable echo cancellation to avoid extraneous noise. It can also eliminate background noise. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to click on Steven's channel here, and you can see that under the repair option, we have no headphones selected. And what that does is it applies that echo and noise cancellation to Steven's track. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to choose mono mix. You hear that, Bob? Oh, yes. Steven's computer whirring in the background. Yes, it is. So let's turn the repair feature back on. And it's gone. That's pretty cool. So if you have people who are in noisy environments, it seems to help with background noise as well. Bob, I'm wondering if we could do a test with you where you reroute the audio to your computer speakers instead of using your earbuds that you're wearing. Okay. So I'll just switch over the max output to internal speakers. And uh, now it's turned on. Okay. Can you hear me loud and clear can through those speakers now? Those speakers now? Yes, I okay. can. Okay. And Stephen, do you hear that echo? Stephen, do you hear that echo? Yes, I can yes, hear the echo. Okay. So now let's, so test, now the let's test the repair feature, feature and feature I will choose no headphones for Bob. No headphones for Bob. And now when we talk, that echo is gone. That's pretty cool. I can't tell from here as much. Right. Yeah, when I speak, and I'm not hearing an echo for me. So, yep, it worked really well. All right, cool. So, Bob, you can switch back to your earbuds, and let's talk about the next feature that you get in CleanFeed Pro. So, the next feature is multiple input devices. Now, the way that you would use this feature is, let's say, for example, Bob, Stephen, and I were in the same room, if we had three USB microphones, we could plug those into a single computer and then enable the multiple input device feature within CleanFeed. So let me show you where that's done. So I'll click on the audio menu up here, and then I will click on source devices. 
And on the Source Devices screen, you'll see that there is a pop-up menu that lets you choose up to four capture devices. And what happens in the background, if you notice, is that we now have four tracks with my name on it. Currently, the last three are muted. But these, you could choose different audio input devices. So here, if I click on the pop-up menu, you can see that there are some other audio input devices here. If I had three USB microphones for myself, Bob, and Steven, you could choose those each separately here for each track. And what it does is it records each of those microphone, those USB microphone input sources onto a separate recording file. So that makes your field kit simpler couple of USB microphones uh, to plug into your computer, you're all set. That's right. And you don't need a separate external audio mixer. And that kind of brings us to the next feature here, which is channel mix control. So with channel mix control, if you'll notice on the right-hand side here, there is another pop-up menu. And if I click on it, you'll see different levels that you can choose here. So you can go all the way up to plus 18 dB, which I won't do because that might blow your ears out. Or you could go down to negative 18 dB. Now this is great for the host to tweak the audio levels for remote guests. It's also great if you're doing that local recording that we just talked about. You can balance out the audio levels right within the browser here. For example, if Steven's audio level is not as high as it should be, I can bump him up by maybe 3 dB. And now when Steven talks, could you talk, Steven? Hello, testing one, two, three. Well, you can see that's going into the red there, so that might have been too much, and he probably was good where he was at. But just for demonstration purposes, let me cut him down by 6 dB down to negative 3 dB. Now, Steven, can you talk again, please? Hello, testing one, two, three. Okay, and you can hear that it noticeably got quieter. Let me put him back at 0 dB gain. And Steven, one more time, please. Hello. Testing one, two, three. And that's where he was originally. So it's a great pro feature to be able to tweak and balance the audio levels for each of the participants in your clean feed session. So that's channel mix control. So the final feature in clean feed pro is higher bit rates. With higher bit rates, you can increase the amount of bandwidth used by clean feed to transmit the audio stream. The default bitrate for speech is quite good, but let's hear how the maximum bitrate sounds. So I'll go into the audio menu here, and then click on audio quality, and click on this pop-up menu here, and you can see that there are many different quality modes here. Now, the modes that you get with clean feed, free version, include low quality talkback, speech optimized, and music optimized. To test out the different bit rates, let's have Bob and Steven count to 10, and then we'll switch to the higher bit rate to see how that sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you guys hear any difference? I think so. I'm not so sure this time. I think the important thing to note here is that CleanFeed does provide a warning under here that this is provided for testing but not recommended. You should definitely have a wired network connection here, and they're saying that there's not that much difference between this setting and the normal speech optimized setting. So I think that's why we're not hearing a huge difference. It's because speech optimized is already pretty good. I remember when we first started using this, how amazing the sound quality was and is. It is a big difference, especially when we compared it to a phone call, a FaceTime call, and a clean feed call. And if you haven't seen that video, check out the link in the description as well. So, Bob, what do you think of these features in CleanFeed Pro? So the two things that stand out to me are the multi-track recording. That's really important. And I really think that the cart wall tool has some interesting applications. How about you, Stephen? What do you think of these Pro features? I think they're really good. 
I like the way they just give you more control over the environment. Multi-track, the recording levels, the cart wall with the little audio inserts is a pretty nice feature. So it just gives you a lot of points of control while you're recording and producing. I agree. I think it's sort of like a Rodecaster Pro inside your web browser. Yep, basically an audio recording studio over the web. Pretty impressive. That wraps up the overview of CleanFeed Pro features. If you haven't seen our video walkthrough of the standard version of CleanFeed, click the link here or in the description. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. We'll see you next time on The Three Techs.